basically my load. Just 16 of these bundles. Each bundle is about 16 foot long. The total load is about 33,000 pounds. I got four straps over each. Just kind of showing you what it looked like before I put my tarp over it because uh, they didn't inform me that I had a tarp in. But now apparently I do. Which load's paying good, so I don't mind. But it is kind of cutting into my time. I'm ready to go. I already got loaded, and then it's like, boom, you got a tarp. Oh, okay. Let's get this done then. All right. It's the next day at night. It's Sunday night. I'm in my delivery. Uh, I drove pretty much all day Saturday, all day Sunday to make it here, like 1,300 some miles. I had the bus ass to get over here, but they uh, they've been on me since uh, before I picked this load up about it being a hot load, and they really wanted it. They was even trying to get me to put somebody in my truck with me and drive it as a team, because like, apparently they run 24/7. This is Eden Corp in Belmont, Iowa, and uh, pretty much these steel bars that I'm hauling, they need it like way before I even picked it up so it was a rush 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 load and uh, they've been checking on me with this load since before I picked it up and they wanted me to check in today which I told them I'll be here tonight and uh, my delivery wasn't to Monday I said I'll be here tonight if y'all want it they say yep they had somebody come in on third shift specifically to unload me so I'm uh, just kind of waiting Open the right door. He said pull around here and back up. Pretty sure that's the right door. I don't see anything else around here. It kind of looks like not a truck area. So yeah, most likely I'm in the right spot. But as, as you can see, it doesn't even look like anything that was hauling. That's what it being tarp. Dang load was kind of heavy though, because I had to come across uh US 64 in uh, Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky, and man, that route sucks. So this load is about 30, 33,000 pounds, almost 34,000 pounds, and uh, it was holding me back, man. It was holding me back. Slowing me down, going up and down the dang mountains and everything, and boy, it sucked. Look at this little spot they had me pull into the back up to. Luckily, I'm a pretty skilled driver at backing up. But I had to come around there and there wasn't a lot of room. I got a 53 foot trailer. The turn right here really sucked because that trailer right there. I, I ended up over there. I had to pull up about five or six times before I finally could get it over. But I was pretty much, uh, my truck was, I don't know where my tracks are at, but my truck was pretty close to this trailer when I was coming down trying to get it get my trailer over because you got to finally get yourself over before you can actually get where you want to be so my whole focus was all right get my trailer over then I can focus on getting straight going into the door however if I have to go into the door or if they bring it out the forklift which I don't know but I'm finna yank this tarp off while I'm waiting on the guy I told him I'll be here at 11 o'clock could have been here a little earlier but I had to stop and uh Get something to eat and take a break which cost me a little bit of time get this off and go back down to the truck stop take me a 34 hour break be sitting up here until tuesday before i head out but yeah basically that's it with a tarp doesn't even look like i'm hauling a load low road good i didn't have to retighten anything my tarp held nice and good this perfect little load Hey, great because it was a hot load that they really wanted so uh, my weekend turned out great besides uh, running out of hours but I got that pipe off Saturday and I was really hoping to get something and not have to sit over the weekend so yeah here we are so got my tarp yanked off they helped me roll it up almost finished rolling up my straps I got back in and everything they're in there right now Pulling it off with the crane. I don't think I'm allowed in there with the camera, so it's gonna chill out here. But uh, yeah, ain't nothing like a little night work. It's about 11:15 at night now. Get a little better look at where I had to turn into. 
walk over here. So I showed up as a prime driver outside the gate. They would they want to unload him. They wanted to unload me first, so I was the hot priority. He might have to wait till the morning. I'm not sure. I think he had a white truck. So if you're a prime driver and you watch my my channel and uh you're in uh bell me belmont iowa at eden corp and it's sunday the 10th september the 10th hit me up let me know that was you out there i'm gonna be heading down to the flying j after this and just kind of sit around and get my my break but yeah so i come around this way and you see how tight it is i mean camera don't do it justice but there's just not enough room to just pull. There's no really pull up. It's gonna leave your trailer almost over here. So I kind of cheated in, cut across this the best I could, but they got these big ass cinder blocks right here. If that wasn't right there, I could have cut across that grass a lot more, but that uh, screwed me up. So I kind of cut in here. I kind of went straight far as I could with my tarp stuff kind of sitting here. And I cut around right there over there and i cut it back hard as i can and uh once you cut it back you want to kind of straighten out my trailer was still kind of facing this way and i needed it more facing way over here this way so i had to cut close to that trailer and kind of get that trailer it was over here and i bent it back this way then i pulled up again i finally had the room to back it up it was like over here and then i done a pull up and got it over but yeah, nothing like a little night work. Uh, I haven't. This is the first time I had a late unload here where I'm working at now since I started. But uh, like I said, originally this was supposed to unload on Monday, but they uh, they really needed it. So they was like, yeah, we'll unload you at night. You can be here Sunday night. No problem. The plant runs 24-7. What they did was have the guy that usually runs first shift come in for third shift just to unload me. Because uh, I think they ran out of material. So it was kind of better I showed up Sunday night instead of Monday morning so they can keep it running and uh, they don't slow down production and no harm on me. Everybody's happy with me. They was happy to see me. They helped me undo everything and uh, and they're getting it yanked off right now. So yeah, if you want to win, put booby in. You know what it is. I get it done. Hard work, 1,350 miles overnight. No problem, I can do it. Put me in, coach. Now I just got about a 30 mile ride back to the truck stop. I'll probably be back down there about 12.30, almost, yeah, about 12.30, depending on how much longer they take to unload me. And I can sleep in in the morning, I ain't got nothing to do. So until then, I'll see you guys on the next video and see what we're doing next.